Hey guys, and welcome to today's idiot video. Today's video is going to be a bit different as we tackle the soyest of all soy boys, First Amendment auditors. I won't be on camera for this one as I prepare for some changes coming to the channel, but this is only temporary. Let me first say that I do firmly support upholding the Constitution and its Bill of Rights, but there are right ways to do it and wrong ways to do it. Today, we are going to break down the wrong way to do it. This video comes from YouTube user Hot Tow Truck Girl and is titled Crazy Cops, Bad Police, Dirty Work. So let's begin. The first thing I notice, aside from the opposite but equally as bad haircuts, is that these guys are entering the building holding their cameras up. I don't necessarily see a problem with this, and as you will see, neither do the officials in the building, but it's quite obvious that they aren't there for any services at all. No, they are there just to antagonize the police, because these First Amendment auditors are some fucking idiots. How's it going? Yeah, I, I would say this is a violation of the First Amendment. Please refrain from the use of cell phone while conducting business at the service window. I think everyone has the right to film their business. Eh, wrong. This is not a violation of any civil rights and is definitely not a First Amendment issue. The First Amendment is basically the right to free speech and press. Institutions are able to suspend the First Amendment rights at times when they violate other rights guaranteed by the Constitution. For instance, in this video, had the police immediately told the auditors to leave when they brought their cameras in, then that would have violated their First Amendment rights. However, the policy, as clearly stated on the sign, is no cell phone usage at the service window. This policy is there for the privacy of the citizens to be able to report crimes to the police without being intimidated, which is guaranteed by the Fourth Amendment. The Tenth Amendment then allows the local government to provide the policies to ensure the other amendments are also being upheld. It's the same thing as how a person screaming fire in a theater is not protected by the First Amendment and is punishable by local ordinances as a violation of public safety. These illiterate idiots would know that if whoever read them the Constitution would have read past the First Amendment. So can we have these removed? Can I help you with that? Yeah, can we have these removed? Yeah. You want to take them off? I'm busy right now. I'd rather not do your job, but could you remove them? Wait, if your motive was to truly uphold the First Amendment, if that was what was truly important to you, then you should have no problem taking the cards out for her. I know I would, but I also joined the military to fight for those rights, where this idiot looks like he joined the subway club and fights three pounds of salami every day of his life. So Joe's just letting the officer know that there's unconstitutional signs here. Yeah, they can't be requesting using cell phones. He's not in pop proper uniform, so I'm wondering if he's on duty. I don't think the Worcester PD issues. Um, Hurley you know, was it Hurley shirt? Yeah, yeah, it's in a skateboard shirt. I don't know if it's snowboarding. I don't get it wrong, but I don't think that's department issue. I mean, it could be. I, mean, I know they're low on budget. So let me get this straight. Your intentions are to audit an under-budget police force, which you were well aware of before you got there, and instead, you are being just an antagonizing piece of shit that's worried about what the officers are wearing. You have no idea if that's acceptable attire or not, nor do you even know if that police officer is on duty or off duty. Keep in mind that even though they approach the window with their phones, which is a clear violation of the building's policy, no one has even said a thing to them. Apparently, their First Amendment rights have been upheld. But that's obviously not enough for these narcissistic idiots. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we got double. Oh, just right away, we're catching all. They're watching a football game. <laughs> Who the fuck cares, and how the fuck does this relate to your First Amendment rights? These two idiots are obviously mad, and for good reason, because no one has ever thrown them a football ever. I mean, if it was three-on-three -three backyard football, 
I'd just forfeit if these guys were my teammates. Because let's be honest, all the garbanzo beans in the world wouldn't contain as much estrogen as these two incels. But this is the service division. Maybe this isn't where they answer 911 calls. It maybe it isn't. Maybe it isn't, yeah. So I don't want to be, you know, presumptuous. You've got to be kidding me, right? Maybe your third grade education precludes you from understanding what it means to be presumptuous because everything you've said to antagonize the police so far has been, by definition, presumptuous. I could be wrong. No shit, Sherlock. You're a fucking idiot. Oh, look at that sign. Do not touch. Okay? Well, if it's their Fourth Amendment rights, you know, they'll make sure that it's... I don't really know here what they're actually pointing at but it appears to be something behind the window, where the public wouldn't normally be. So that sign is probably meant for the employees and doesn't pertain to either of you dipshits. I wonder if I had a sign on my car that said, do not touch, and they were gonna search. You You've won them, you've won them, yes. If you put a sign your car that says, do not touch my vehicle, and then they touch your vehicle, then they have violated your rights after exactly. warning. Wrong again, idiot. Touching your car is not a violation of your Fourth Amendment rights. And while your Fourth Amendment right to privacy is to be upheld by even law enforcement, it can be suspended if a law enforcement officer has a credible reason to believe a crime is being committed. This is a wall sheet. This is the biggest post. Oh, oh, wow. Those are all level three. Oh, my God. Oof. Holy banana hammock. This is the biggest wall of shame I've ever seen. And guys, please enjoy the uh, Worcester Police calendar. No, I'm just kidding. Man, I can't fucking stand these two idiots. Remember moments ago when they were acknowledging that the police were under budget, and then here they are criticizing the police's success in keeping the city safer by capturing so many high-profile sex offenders. And let's just imagine for a moment what Bubba would do to a man with this voice in jail. And guys, please enjoy the uh, Worcester police calendar. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't be poking the police bear if I sounded like that, but then again, I'm not a fucking idiot. Is that a wife beater? I think it is. I think I see a wife beater. I'm talking about his t-shirt, guys. I'm not implying that he beats his wife. But if I had a stick that was called a dog killer because it kills dogs and I walked around with it, you're like, oh my god, a dog killer. I might just think I'm a dog killer. So I guess the Gut Buster Burger literally bust open guts. Or my favorite, Slap Your Mama Creole Seasoning, is only for people who actually slap their moms. No, you dickless idiot. It's a nickname and has become a societal norm. The term wife beater actually comes from one man in Detroit who literally beat his wife to death while wearing a tank top. And just so you know, your buddy is wearing a ponytail. Does that mean his head smells like a horse's ass? And you're wearing birth control glasses. So what does that say about you? Uh, well, I asked, uh, I inquir inquired for something. Okay, what did you need? Um, she said she was gonna remove these signs. I don't wanna do it for her. Who's, who's who, she who? Uh, the clerk that was sitting right here. She wants to remove a sign? She said she was gonna do it. What sign are we talking about? I left this part in because this is the point at which the First Amendment rights of the auditors are infringing on the other citizens' Fourth Amendment rights. I'll play the video one more time, and if you look at the reflection in the glass, you can see some people enter into the station, and according to the police reports, they were there to report crimes of domestic abuse. This sign right here says, please refrain from use of cell phone while conducting business at the service window. Right, the, the clerk, are we talking the clerk report? I'm sorry, I can't. We're not removing the sign. Why? It's a violation of the First Amendment. Okay. As stated before, it is not a violation of your rights to have that sign there. That sign is protected under the Tenth Amendment to protect the citizen's right to the Fourth Amendment. You obviously don't understand the Constitution, and you're a fucking idiot. It's there, and it's not going to be removed. Well, it's against you the Constitution. Issues, Did you swear an oath to the Constitution? Do you have any other issues, sir? This is a very big issue because it's the First Amendment to the Constitution. Asked and answered, I just want to point out to everyone watching that this cop has the patience of a Komodo dragon and gives these idiots more time and attention than I ever would have given them. Oh, over here too. Oh. Hi. 
Hi. Yeah, I have a question. That gentleman that was well, just. Talking to the young lady. Well, now I'm talking to you. So she's she's. No, I was talking to you. Are you still talking to him? I mean, I was talking to you. I was talking to you. Well, you can't multitask. You got a gun, but you can't handle more than one task. You have a gun, but you can't multitask. What the fuck does that even have to do with any of your rights? More proof that they aren't there for any true government auditing, but they're just there to be a couple of dickweed idiots. Can I get a freedom of information request form? Online. They go online. Oh, oh no, right no, you have them right you. behind you. They're right there. They're right there. They're within reach. No, she's, she's done talking. I'm talking to you now. I think she can speak for herself. Well, I'm speaking for myself because she's no longer speaking to. The officer that was back there at the clipboard, he's not, he's not in uniform. Sir, you're being disorderly. You're being disorderly. Is you're being disorderly, right sir. Is he working right now? You see this guy? Yeah. He's the exact opposite of the officer at the window. And he's about to ruin the day for all of these idiots. Do you feel threatened by these two? I mean, they're so good. No. Are you inquiring, um... What is that? Actually, you're via rude. I was talking to you first. Yeah, no. I was talking to you first. Can I have a uh, freedom of information request for... Okay, what's going on, fellas? Don't, Don't touch, touch me. me. Do not touch me. Oh, give my phone! It was at this moment that the green bastard realized that he was still wearing his Taylor Swift ponytail from the night before. Green bastard, you're a fucking idiot. You can't! Give me the mic! I have pencil on my face. Hold space. Hold space. Do not walk through me. Grab me! I don't care how many cameras these asshats had. The fact that even one of them is in portrait mode instead of landscape means that all three of these losers are idiots. Well, it looks like they weren't so tough after all. One cop from an under-budgeted police force, out of uniform in a Hurley shirt, throws out three badass auditors who just won't take no shit. Either the cop is the most badass cop of all time, or these idiots realize that displaying no balls is the best way to escape this ordeal in one piece. I want you to name your badge number. You ain't got out. shit for me, name ass badge Hats off to this cop. Throws the moron's phone, and then when the idiot asks for his name and badge number, he responds appropriately. I want you to name your badge number. You ain't got shit for me, name ass badge number. Bravo, good sir. Bravo. You don't touch me. You don't touch me. See Arrest him. Arrest him right now. Arrest him. I'm pressing charges. I'm pressing charges against him right now. It doesn't look like you're pressing charges. It looks like you're an idiot doing a really bad moonwalk. He just screamed at me. He, he, he assaulted me for practicing a First Amendment right. Arrest him now! Now that he has been removed for being a nuisance and violating the procedure set forth by the local government and given a free pass to go home, the bass magically comes back in his voice. Something tells me that this isn't going to last very long, though. Arrest him! Name and badge number now! Is he being suspected of a crime? Name and badge number! Name and badge number! Name and badge number! This is the worst experience I've ever had in the police department. Ever. He threw my phone! He grabbed me! He ripped my shirt! Now we come back to the most patient police officer of all time. He warns him several times, over and over, to just go home. Even when he is being berated by this Stay puff Marshmallow, he still gives him every opportunity to leave. But the Jolly Green Giant is an idiot. I, don't touch me! Do not touch me! Why? I want my phone! I did not! I was getting my phone out of my hand! Ouch! Ouch! I can't help but laugh at this idiot. He was given every chance in the world to leave, acted tough as nails with a window between him and the officer, acted like he shoots up estrogen when he was thrown out of the station, found that bass in his voice when they let him go, and then lost it again when he got himself arrested. You're a fucking idiot. I was getting my foot out of my hand! Oh, oh, shit, oh, oh, shit. Ouch! Screw! <laughs> or you're going to jail! Ow! No, I'm leaving. Leave. I am. 
Aw, what's wrong? You soldiers of freedom aren't so tough now? Your womanly man friend is screaming bloody murder, and you two cower away with your tails between your legs. Today didn't go the way you planned, now did it? Hot tow truck girl, you and your two lady friends are fucking idiots. Go with your friend. Come back here and you gotta catch him. And there's Officer Badass getting the last words in like a boss, reminding these idiots that there's always enough room for them at the Gray Bar Hotel. I was assaulted. Did you get everything on tape the way they were grabbing them, all that? Yeah. You got it all? We're going to go across the street to a public place right now, and we are immediately going to contact the chief of police right this second. I can only imagine how pissed off the chief is going to be to find out that his prize fighting enforcer got the shit on a couple of First Amendment auditor idiots without him. Continue to record while I call. Get that pulled up on the screen. We're gonna go across the screen. I'm going live right now. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going across the street to go live. This isn't and will never be about the rights with these idiots. It's all about the views antagonize the police to get content, get arrested, and then beg for bail money. Now, I don't have the original copy of his e-begging video, but I did find this content originally on Degeneration Nation, a channel that covers First Amendment audit fails and sovereign citizens. I encourage you to check out his channel. A link will be in the description. But here is the begging for bail money video. How's it going, guys? I'm just going to give a quick update about what's going on. Um, I don't, as you all know, probably I was at uh, the Worcester Police Station doing a First Amendment audit. And uh, yeah, don't worry, I'm, I'm okay. Uh, my wrist is doing a lot better. It was swollen yesterday, but uh, I'm sure you guys saw the arrest. But uh, Tuesday, uh, the 22nd, um, I have court, so I'm going to be going to that. I think this is going to cost uh, the Worcester taxpayers a lot of money. Um, but I would really like to do is take the badges of the police officers that arrested me, uh, which would be the uh, the jackass that um, grabbed me, grabbed my phone, threw my phone, uh, and then as you can see in the video, I was already arrested, I already had the cuffs on, yet that jerk came right up to me and pushed me in the chest for no reason at all. Anyways, uh, I also wanted to let you guys know, this is really important, and I don't ever ask for money, I'm going to have to get a lawyer, uh, I'm going to have to pay my lawyer up front, so... Um, if you guys want to donate, it's in the description below. And there you have it. I acted like a jackass, followed by, can you bail me out? You are a fucking idiot. Okay, so I think this is going to be where we end the video today. Police antagonizers are the worst of the worst, and I truly couldn't help myself from covering these idiots. Now I'd like to take the time out to thank Hot Tow Truck Girl for being so fucking delusional that you thought that posting this video was a good idea because you and every other piece of shit First Amendment police antagonizer are fucking idiots. All right, guys, so you made it to the end of the video and I appreciate it. If you found this video entertaining at all, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Also, this is my very first attempt to cover First Amendment audit fails and sovereign citizen jackasses. Let me know in the comment section if you'd like to see more. A massive shout out to all of my channel members and channel patrons whose support helps me keep doing what I love to do, exposing idiots on the internet. I'm Father Skeptic, and I'm out.